So I have a couple questions for sure. you. So you didn't mention fat, so as, as much fat as people want to eat? Yeah, so that depends. So the idea is when people are using carbohydrates, they have to use 100% of the insulin to actually get it, move it into the cell to be able right. to use it. When people are using proteins, it's only 50%. Mm -hmm. So that's why the proteins are a really kind of good anchor for mm -hmm. people to help them not only feel satiated, but they're not using as much insulin. So as we're sensitizing their cells to get them back to normal from insulin resistant, it actually allows them to um, be able to, to do that in a way that helps to balance their blood sugars. Now, fat doesn't require any insulin at all. Mm -hmm. So if someone is not trying to lose weight, eating healthy fats, which is one of the, the things I think is really important that we look at healthy fats like mm -hmm. avocados or mm -hmm. nuts and seeds or um, monounsaturated fats like um, extra virgin olive oil. Like those, they can use them as much as they want. Mm -hmm. If they do want to actually be in that weight loss process, then they still can use them, but they may restrict them a little bit so that they can continue to lose weight. Okay. And if someone is overweight, that the Bernstein diet actually puts them in a ketogenic state so that they're starting to burn fat. And again, that protein um, prevents them from losing muscle mass, which okay. is really important uh, in healthy weight loss. Yep.